and locking Moreto Bliss. Good afternoon, good afternoon. You're so much welcome to Unlocking Marietta Bliss with me, Cyrus Rod. It's always a pleasure to have you here and no other place. And I'm always so excited to bring realities over here because a lot of you watch and we do appreciate the feedback from all over the globe. We do appreciate the feedback and we are still here to make sure that you get bliss in your marriage. You succeed, you get the best in your marriage. Now. Before, in the last episode, we dealt with submission. And a lot of you have responded. You've come out with a lot of responses, and we're so grateful. And uh, we're here to still make a continuation so that we can move forward and y'all can understand what it means to have submission, what it is all about, how about culture. We want to dig deep into it, and then we will be able to leave nothing but bliss in your marriage. So I want you to stay tuned, call your neighbor, call a buddy, call a friend. Let them know it's unlocking Moretta Bliss. We will be here for you in just a minute. How, submission, eh? I think it's a very misunderstood topic or, or duty. The Bible says, I think in Ephesians 5.22, Wives submit to your husbands, but many of us stop on, uh, many people uninformed stop on the first two verses, 22 and 23. But if you go lower, actually the bigger task is to the husbands. Because the husband, we are told, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And if you look at how Christ loved his church, he gave himself for it. So am I willing to die for my wife? Am I willing to sacrifice for my wife? And the body says that no man hates his own body. Well, if I love my body, if I like to, to bathe it, to eat good food, I like to be treated with respect, why would I now mistreat this person I'm with? So when you don't practice submission in your marriage, then you're bound to lose it. Because no one will ever tolerate a woman who is not sub submissive. I have moved around, I've seen the people who are successful in their marriage. One thing that I have realized is that the women in those happy marriages are practiced submissive. They are submissive in whatever they do, they respect their partners, they are actually, they, are sub, they, they do what they are supposed to do as women. When a priest uh, wells uh, couples, one of the things they say in the Bible is, husband, love your wife, and then wife, submit to your husband. So to me, submission means listen, respect, and agree with your husband. That means submission. Because when there is a head, for instance, the husband is the head of a family. There cannot be two heads in one family. There has to be one, which means the other one has to submit. So each one of them has been given a role to play. The husband has been given a role to play, to love his wife, and the wife to submit to the husband. And actually, and women are very, very interesting. They give you what you give them. They give you twice of what you give them. So if you show her the love that she deserves, well, she will submit with no, no without any problem to it. And I've also heard it in many circles that it's easier, women have said it, and uh, it's easier to submit to a submitted man but who am I submitting to? My submission is to God, first of all, through his son, Jesus. So when I'm submitted to God, believe me, it fall, everything else falls into place and your wife most times will not have an issue uh, with submission. Oh. Uh, in as far as marriage is concerned, you need to, you, we need to get back to the African traditional society. The challenge that we have right now in our marriages, most people ignore our culture. And yet we are supposed to embrace it. Submission, actually I grew up in a, uh, a, uh, in, in a society where demands at least a wife to submit to your husband. And of course, in, in return, what I do as a man is to offer the love to my wife. The wives now want to claim to be the same as the husbands. No, you cannot be a husband. Husband has got specific roles to play the head of a family, as indicated in the Bible. 
then the wife has a role to play to help the husband. That's why God created a, 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 a woman to be a helper, a wife to be a helper to the husband. A helper means somebody who is helping another. Of course not. If you come to impose, to manage, to rule your partner, then you're not partners. This is your, it will become like an, an item in your life. But if you take this individual as part of part and parcel of your life, there's no way you'll rule, manage, or control them. And uh, we have also had now the influence of money. Money has changed a lot of things in as far as uh, marriage is concerned. Women are no longer submissive. You find a woman because she has bodyguards behind her, they, 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 but, but they have toxic relationships. Marriage, very toxic. On the side of women, women need to understand what position they occupy in that marriage. Who are you in that, some, in that husband, in your husband's life? Are you just his bedment? So these days, you know, there is this the women emancipation and so on, equality and so on. That thing is, is, is being misunderstood to mean that women, wives, are the same as husbands. No, you cannot be a husband as well, well as a wife. You have to accept to be a wife. And that means you have to submit to your husband. Now, when you, you know, normally problems arise when a wife also tries now to be the head of a family. Because now you'll be competing. Because it is two way. We both have to cooperate. As I'm submissive to you, for you, show me that you love me. Show me that you act, appreciate what I do. Show me that you are there for me. This, there is less accept. There is, there is this say that these days a, a, a man is supposed to be a caretaker of the family. Yes, but we have also empowered women. And that is the most important thing. And when we empower women, it means that we need them also to submit in order to help us. Otherwise, there will be no, you know, no reason to empower them. You empower them and they begin, you know, be, uh, start, uh, they start becoming disrespectful. Overall, I believe uh, the task is for me first to love my wife, then it will be easier for her to submit to me. As to wives is, please, in order to make harmony, peace and tranquility in your family, submit to your husband. Full stop. It doesn't matter whether you are earning more than him, whether you are more educated than him, please submit to your husband. You will have a happy family. That's my advice to many wives. And my advice, of course, also to the husbands. Please, like the Bible dictates, please love your wife with your, all your heart and be faithful to your wife. We'll be back once again. You're still watching and locking the Red Blaze with Miss Cyrus Rod. You know, um, many of you are there and you're wondering, okay, he's talking about submission. What is he going to tell us today? Guys, take your seat. Pick up your coffee if you got to, pick up your juice if you got to, and ladies, do the same because you are going to be taught submission. You see, if you're in a relationship and there's nothing like submission, it is not a relationship. You're just, just destroying one another. Submission is what helps a relationship to build up. Submission is what strengthens any relationship. As long as there's no submission, you can't have a pure and successful relationship. And I tell people, and I say it to you, it, the question will rise, is submission for the female? Because the Bible tells the female to submit. That is ignorance. The Bible tells everybody to submit. So submission is not gender sensitive. Submission belongs to anybody that will have a relationship with God. If you're not connected with God, you can do without submission and try to do yourself any good but you, you might assure yourself that you're not submitting to anybody, but in actual sense, you're submitting to Lucifer. That's how it works. You, so you're either submitting to God or you're submitting to Lucifer. Submission cannot be eliminated. And I'll bring this to you so we break it down and you will understand what submission is all about. And my guest, as usual, we're going to continue. The user suspect, I got Winfred Zizinga with me in the house. You're so much welcome. 
Thank you very much, Pastor Cyrus. It's great to be here. Great to be here. Yes, it is. You talked about submission in the other episode and you literally opened up a lot of chaos everywhere. People are like, oh my goodness, that woman, that woman, that woman. Submission seems to be the one million dollar subject. Exactly. It, it, it won't go away. <laughs> Submission <laughs> won't go away. It's so beautiful that I can still have you on set and we are able to proceed and continue with this whole teaching on submission. Yes. And I would bring it to you and ask, when we talk about submission, a lot of people come in and uh, they say, well, as a woman, you're talking about submission. They believe submission means kneeling down. Is submission kneeling down? I would like to get to understand this because a lot of our viewers are lover the globe, wherever they're watching us from. And those that come from Africa that believe submission is kneeling down. And then those that come from other parts of the world, they think submission maybe is turning gap. So, I mean, <laughs> culture and submission, can this flow together? Can I answer that in two phases? Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. Now, from the responses that we had over, yeah. the, over the week, yeah. It has been about why are you trying to break our cultures? Why are you trying to break the tradition that we have known? Okay. And then the two part is that yes, they will say it is part of of the Bible. Yes. And then at the, on the other side, they will tell you that well, the doctrine came in to to make good the culture. Yes. So submission, if if they can if the bible can say wives submit to your husbands yes. it does not say husbands submit to your wives oh. so it the husbands are called to love after we have submitted no no and i'll interject i think that is a myopia of scripture reading now pastor cyrus let me first hold okay, okay. my apologies <laughs> now when we kneel down we're submitted to you if I asked an average man out there, what does sub submission look like to you? What does it look like if I, if you say my wife is submitted to me? I am telling you, you will be stunned at the responses you get. She tells me when she is going to be late. She kneels down. Even if she comes back late, she serves me food. Uh, she takes off my socks. Yeah, she's submitted to me. When I tell her, no, it is no. When I tell her we are going to die, we are going to die. That is it. She does not. Object. object to anything that I say because I am the head of the home. So being submitted is there's a sense of control and tyranny. Okay. And it is not the other way be submitted one to another. Okay. No, it isn't. So the average man out there believes that and that is what is working for them. For the homes that are working, Thank you for adding that on. In inverted commas. In inverted commas, the wives are submitted. But when you have a one-on-one -on -one with the wife... She wants out. She w no, 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 no. She may not want out, Pastor Cyrus. Okay. She knows it's a game. You know Thank which you. side of your bread is buttered. Thank you. Yes. Which side of my bread is buttered? Come on, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell him that, I need this. When I when I do this, I know I will get this. Yes. When I do this, I know I will get this. When I don't think I want anything, then I can not be sub I'm not submitted. I can be me. But you know, that ain't even submission. But do you know that as a man? When you go out there, you say, I tell her jump, she knows how high. Dude, you have been busted i'll be honest with you that is not submission you're in a game and you just been played you're not in control that is not submission now pastor cyrus we are talking about the christians homes today are breaking because husbands are saying my wife is not submitted now because your wife is going to go to karamoja tomorrow for a work trip yeah. and you say no and she says, I'm going. And your hands are up in the air. She's not submitted. Now, homes are breaking because of that. Work, when I call out bad behavior in you, 
how dare I speak to you? I am not submitted because you're the authority. We don't speak back to authority. No. Go ahead. And there is scriptures. The, they have scriptures to back these things up. That's the saddest thing. Probably we need to clear them up. We need to clean it up. When we start from the Genesis, yes. after the fall, yes. mm -hmm. what happens? You name woman. And that is something so clear, and I've made it clear. Man was never given power to name the woman. Never. He was given power to name the animals. When man named the woman, that came after the fall. So man got to a point and he felt like he had already lost what it means to love a woman. So he thought the best way to deal with a woman is control a woman. Now, when we come back to the New Testament, okay. women don't speak in the church. Women don't speak in church. No, they don't. Oh, people usually run to 1 Corinthians 14. Absolutely. Verse 34. Mm -hmm. Let her learn in silence. And that's after Jesus had come. Uh, and what does that mean? You remain silent. I mean, Pastor Cyrus. What does that scripture say? Tell us. You're bringing up a lot of stuff and uh, we're talking about that submission. Huh? That is the stuff people stand on on it. You know, first of all, we, we need to define submission. We need, probably people need to understand because if you look at a woman because she kneels down and you say she's submissive, th th that is, you're being played. That is not submission. Now that is according you know? to you. Because when I come home when, as a man and she's literally serving me, like... No, you women, you thing. see... you. In the power play, in a relationship, if it becomes about power play, the men will always lose. They don't think so. I'll say it out. As long as it's power play in a relationship, dudes, you're on the losing side. Because a man comes thinking, I can be the boss. I can be the overall. Nobody tells me what to do. And still nobody tells him what to do. Now, when you think like that, Every man wants to be a king. Mm -hmm. When you try to be a king, you, it will be hard for you to be a servant. Oh, try to make them feel like a king. It will be hard to be a servant. But God calls us to be servants and not to try to be kings. Take a look at the book of Esther, chapter 1. And here is a beautiful lady. You see, every time a man tries portrays and seeks to be treated as a king, he will always try to dominate his wife. How can a dominated person rule with you as queen? Impossible. Now, here is a king. Every time you, you're pretending and you're saying, I, I want to feel like a king, and you hear losers te teach people, hey, Make him feel like a king. You can make a man feel like a king, but it will never make him a king. He's just feeling like a king, but he is not a king. It's just like taking someone out of the ghetto and the ghetto is still in them. The ghetto is still in them. Let us read that scripture, Pastor Cyrus. Uh -huh. First Corinthians 14, 34. What is as, it as in all churches of yeah. the saints, the women should keep silent in the churches. Yeah. For they are not permitted to speak but should be in submission as the law says. Now, thank you for that verse. They will be in submission as the law says. Mm -hmm. Which law? You see, this is where a lot of people lose it. They just read. Whoa. The law of Moses. Which verse? And Jesus came to fulfill the law. No, which law? You see, I'll tell you something. That is something everybody can tread with caution, okay? Mm -hmm. The law, according to the law of Moses, nowhere is it written like that. In fact, when you go to the law of Moses, you'll be disappointed because it has judges, it has prophetesses, it has rulers, and they're all women. Yep. You get me? And they so, used to speak. And they speak loud and men here in public. So God is not in that manner. Now, when Jesus resurrects, there, there's good news. He says there's neither Jew nor Gentile. He says all of us are equal before him. And in fact, 1 Corinthians 11, it talks about men and women prophesying. So it, it, it can't be that really, you know, you just need to, it was about the law of that culture. 
the law of that culture, not the law of the Bible. Because in the law of the Bible, it is not there. Paul was trying to deal with the culture at that point, and things were out of control. And we failed to see it. Things were out of control, but it was not a doctrine Paul was establishing. Because if it be a doctrine, then, then Paul would contradict the entire Bible and contradict Christ himself. So that one cannot stand. I want you to see the thing I was pulling out in Esther. Mm -hmm. Esther comes out, look, the man rises up and says, I'm a king. Yeah, I'm being treated like a king. But this was a boy, you know, <laughs> being treated. You see, every time you want to be treated like a king, rather than knowing that a man is supposed to serve, you want to be treated like a king, you'll always look at your woman as a trophy. The, that, well, that was Vashti. Vashti. Yeah. Now, here is the king. And here you have Vashti. And the king is drunk. The debauchery is going on. And what does he do? Oh, bring my beautiful woman. <laughs> That's my trophy. And this woman is like, I ain't your trophy. I ain't coming. I ain't coming. And they're like, what? Do you know what the guys went? Oh, every man lost it. What did the woman do? Oh, oh we're not going back home, sir. You better do something so we don't go back home because we don't have any manhood in us. One woman has rendered us powerless. We don't have manhood at all. Ooh, we're finished. And guess what? The man issued, it was the Persian Empire. Mm -hmm. Now, and he said, from today, all men shall wield authority over their wives. Now, that's a portion that we all miss. We only know Vashti did not come. Uh-huh. And we skip somewhere, and then Esther is brought on set. Now, look. L look at what God did. Look at what God did. Men were protesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And God said, let me raise, let me just raise up Esther. <laughs> and she's going to rule over you. She's going to change this whole setting. Now, they were screaming over Vashti, and God brought in Esther, and Esther determined the direction of the entire Persian Empire. Can I read? Please. Esther 1. Um, let me start for 15. According to the law, what is to be done to Queen Vashti? Because she has not performed the command of the king. Yeah. Asharias delivered by the eunuchs. Not only, not only, this is 16, not only against the queen, not only against the king has Queen Vashti done wrong, but against all the officials and yes. all the peoples who are in the provinces of King Ahasuerus. Yes. For the queen's behavior will be made known to all women, causing them to look at their husbands with contempt. Fear. We're finished. Mm -hmm. ho, 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 ho. Since they will say, King Ahasuerus, commanded Queen Vashti to be brought before him, and she did not. This very day, the noble women of Persia and Media, who have heard of the queen's behavior, will say the same of all the king's officials, and there will be contempt and wrath in plenty. Contempt and wrath in plenty. Mm -hmm. Winnie, let me ask you, what sin did Vashti commit? She was not submissive. What is submission? She did not come when the husband called her. The husband is drunk, beholds her as a trophy, so she comes and displays her beauty. So, the, you know, when eyes are full of pornography and all that, wanted the queen to become that, so all these men may last after this beauty, and you expected this woman to say yes. That is submission. That is not submission, Winnie. Now, that is what? We know our submission because... And, and that's what must change. There's got to be equality. Now, when your daughter is growing up and the neighborhood man is beating his wife to death daily, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and your daughter is asking you, Daddy, why doesn't she leave? You see, she's submitted. Why does he beat her? Because she's under submission. I mean, you say if, submission. He, if he insults her in front of people, Daddy, but... but, but, but Mrs. So-and-so was, was correct in what she did. Why did the husband treat her that way? You see, a woman is submitted. She, she doesn't speak out. She doesn't 
you know, even when but your you see, girl can see, your girl child can girl see it. Can see it, and you explain it away. as submission. I explained it as submission. Exactly. We need to define she what She will grow up is. knowing that is exactly it. No, no. Look at this, Winnie. Submission means I give you authority over me. It is selfless. Selfless, you get it? Yes. I give you authority over me. Whoever gives submission, I'll ask this. Whoever gives submission, if you're my husband and I give you power over me, look, you, you don't force me to submit. No. I give it to you. Absolutely. Even God himself doesn't force us to submit. He still stands at the door. He stands at the door and knocks and says, give me power over you. So every woman who gives a man submission is saying, I'm giving you power over me. I'm letting you have my power so we can do build a home together. Use my power to protect me and protect the home. Don't use my power so you can do whatever you want. Now, why is it that it's a point of contention for so many men? Most of the people who responded are the men. They feel like you are taking something from them. No, no, it's the culture. The, their strength, their security has been in the ignorance. Now, when you bring light to that ignorance, to the darkness they've held, that's when they feel like, ooh, we're naked. But what I'm showing them, let's be honest, what did Vashti do wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Vashti never did anything wrong. She simply said, I cannot be treated like a trophy. At such a time, you put me on display. I'm not one of these girls, these slay queens. I'm not a slay queen. Now, in the last episode, we talked about when, when, I, when, when you fail as a husband over a decision you've made, yes. it's Robbie's fault. Never mind that she talked to you about, you know, you shouldn't do this. I think I, I don't see a way forward here. How dare she tell you? When, when, when you fail, it's her fault. When you don't do it, it's her fault. So it's like everything about submission is hinged around a woman. No, I, I would like to... So there is, it, is, it goes back to being gender sensitive. Let me remove the veil. Submission is not gender sensitive. The men that don't submit to God find it hard to submit to their wives. Now they say they are submitted to God, including pastors. You, let me tell you something. A man who is submitted to God will love his wife. That is exactly... You, you see, these things, when Christ was submitted to God, he loved the church. No, you, he never abused the church. So you don't say, I'm submitted to God, but can't love my spouse. No, it doesn't work that way. I mean... It's like there are, there are certain terms and conditions, that small box that we tick at the bottom. Terms and conditions apply. So the thing is this, I have, I have listened to couples who say, the Bible says you submit first before I can love you. No, no, like no, Christ no, no. loved the church. Winnie, I got to correct that stuff. You submit first before I can love you. Mm -hmm. So now I can't love you because I'm waiting for your submission. Exactly. If you are not submitted, I cannot love you. No, wrong. And I'm doing everything wrong because you have not submitted. No. Let me tell you something. When I met my wife, she was not submissive. She never gave me authority over her life. But you loved her anyway. I loved her. Even simply telling her, don't do this. It's wrong for you. She got mad. You don't talk to me like that. And you, she did it you, because she could. She did it because she could. And <laughs> <laughs> I looked at her and I said, you know what, girl? I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you still. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be there for you. When you go wrong, it's my responsibility to clean you up. And when I go wrong, you can help me out too. And I told her, you need to learn that when I correct you, it doesn't mean you're bad. Because most women think when I correct you, then you're ugly. No, the reason I correct you is because I love you. Hmm. Not because you're ugly. Sometimes <laughs> is what you're trying to tell me in not so many words. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what happens. I bring it out in that manner. 
and I insist, this is wrong. Then she realizes this guy is not attacking me. He is for me. He is for me. Then she gives her power to me. That's called submission. She surrenders to me. Now, for most men, when she surrenders, oh, I got to control her now. No, I got to, no, she gave you that power so that you protect her because she can use it to protect herself. But she's given it to you because she trusts you to protect her, to care for her. It's just like when you go to work and you bring back a hundred million and you give it to your husband and then this dude doesn't understand. He thinks this a hundred million. Oh Lord, time to go buy me all the gadgets I want and get my toys and get all the girls I want. And you know, no, she gave you that money so that you may protect her. You may care for her, man. I'll be back in a minute and tell you what's next. Unlocking Moreto Bliss. Unlocking Marital Bliss. We'll be back. We'll be back. You're still watching Unlocking Marital Bliss. And my name is Cyrus Rod. I'm just so glad that I am sharing this reality. And before we took a break, I'm still in studio right here. Yeah, this is a beautiful one with the one and only Winfred Zizinga. And hey, Winnie, before we took a break, I was making it so clear that when you give something to a man, men should know it's not that you're weak. It's that I'm entrusting you with this power so you preserve me, so you can use the, I'm giving you the authority over me. You see, many men believe I got authority by birth. No, that's the thing. And that's the way we raise our sons. No, you, dude, you don't have authority by birth that I was born a male, so I got authority by birth. And no. Then, and then you have also the God-given one because he created Adam first. No, f being created first doesn't, is not rank, it's responsibility. Now, the, I wish, I wish, Pastor Cyrus, that oh. men could actually see it that way. Dude, you gotta see it like I see it because that's what the word no, says. I, I being created first is not rank. It's responsibility. That's it. You, no, you, you can have a firstborn who's an idiot. True. And you get me? Is... And the second born, the last born is good. And you say, no, I'm the firstborn because I'm the firstborn. Hmm. <laughs> now, Pastor Sarah, we are having, we, we are having couples, right? Yeah. Christian couples. Yes. Now, this man is not looking after his home because he doesn't feel submitted to. Now, going back to the thing that you said about Robbie. Yeah. Now, you, you and your wife. Yes. You have walked that journey of loving your wife regardless. It's called unconditional love. It's, it's selfless, unconditional love. Yes, ma'am. Now, we are having young people get married today. Yes. And I will do for as long as you are doing. I will love you if only you can submit. Mm -hmm. Now, I will provide, now it has been taken a notch higher. Uh -huh. Now, the couple I'm talking about, the couples I'm talking about, because there are quite a few. Yeah. Now, this man is not looking after his home. Uh -huh. Because that one time he told his wife, the wife comes home and says, we're going for a field trip in Masaka. And he's saying, I don't want you to go. And she asks, is there any reason as to why you don't, I just don't want you to go. And you ask the man, why don't you want her to go? And he says, I just want to feel that she listens to me. So she... I like you, Winnie, the way you're presenting this. So real. Go ahead, girl. Because she listens to me. I mean, I want her to know, to, I want to know that she listens to me. Yeah. That way, I will know that she is submitted. When I say you don't go today, no. you don't go. When I say give me your phone, 
you give me your phone and you, you, you know, I switch it off the whole day. Your boss will call. You are not showing up, right? Because I want to feel like I want to feel, like yes, I want to feel like the man in the home. Now, when the wife says, I am going to go and I'll be back on Thursday, yeah. the man goes into a fit. He don't buy food at home. He's not looking after his kids because of your mother. Your mother is not submitted. Now, when you talk to these young men, he says, I want, I want her to be submitted. And you ask him, what is submission to Thank you? you? Thank you. For her to know that I am in control over her. I control her body. I control her movement. I control when she sneezes. I control everything about her. So you ask him, does she control everything about you? Well, you see, I'm the head. I'm, I'm, I'm the man. Really? I, the Bible is clear. It well, gives me authority. I need to correct something, because you're pouring out all these heavy things. But these are the things that are happening. Now, look, do you know this is the same demon <laughs> that existed in the Persian Empire? And it has never quit. No, it hasn't. Because if the only time you feel she's submissive is when you control her, she's not submitting to you. As a matter of fact, you're just controlling her. She doesn't even love you. You don't even love her. That's not submission. Now, submission, look at this. In the days of Pasha, mm -hmm. feelings, you to feel that something is wrong doesn't make it wrong. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you tell your wife, I don't want you to go for that work or for the trip, field trip. She's working, she's being employed, and she has work to do. Mm -hmm. Then she's going to bring a check home. And you say, you're not going. Why? And you, you, I'm the man. <clears throat> and now. you're not bringing the check home. <laughs> Yours can get lost somewhere. Hers is not getting lost. I mean you can tangibly see what your wife is doing in the home. She's paying the school fees. She's buying the food you eat. She's dressing you. But you literally go and spend your money out there because she's not submissive. We need to correct that. Submission doesn't mean because you feel, uh, uh, th there's a danger. For you to feel that you're in charge doesn't really make you in charge. It's a feeling. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. Now, this king said, bring her here so she can show off. Let's be honest. What was she going to show off? Her beauty. What? And in the sanity of the moment, he would have told her, probably, can you take off your top? Exactly. Let them see. And all these fools will say, oh, <laughs> now, now, you see, demeaning her is what makes you feel like a man. And then the, everyone will commend you, Pastor Cyrus, how, you, how submissive your wife is. No, she's not here to massage my ego. I want to make it so straight. Ego is not love. Ego is nothing but pride. And no woman has authority to massage pride. Now, now, the thing, Pastor Cyrus, that you started with, the man is being played. We all know of women who will tell their husbands, because it's what they want to hear. Thank I'm, you. Say it again, because? It is what they want to hear. Go ahead. Okay, I will not go for the trip. Let me go and see my mom. And the man says, okay. okay. And he thinks he's in control. Absolutely. So when the woman drives out, she's going to work. <laughs> you call mama. Mama is winning with you. Yes, yes she's yes, she just stepped out a bit. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. You feel and know I am the man. No, you're not. Dude, you're being played. And now the thing about submission, why men are fighting. It's because they are so used to, to being served. Rather than being the servants, 
Whoever shall, you see, when you love, you serve. You cannot enter marriage for those who are not married yet, yes. if you're not willing to die. Thank you. And if you're not willing to serve, serve another, another, expecting nothing in return. In return. Now this sense of man, he buys you a dress. You give him sex. If he doesn't buy you the dress, you don't give him sex. Now, Do, that, that's not a relationship. <laughs> hey, 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 world over. That ain't a relationship. You guys are playing. No, we are treading. You're treading? Yes, that's the right word. He buys you a dress, you give him sex. So he forgets to buy you a dress, you don't give him sex. You don't give him sex. Man, you've been lowered to She's junk. Not She's not submitting, you don't come home. You find oh the one who submits. God, oh when she submits, God. you come home. You look after home. So we enter marriage oh to God. trade. That's trade. That ain't love. The, the man wants to be in control. What, what, what drives a man to desire to be in control is nothing. When you do not know your identity. Bottom line. For me, that is it. That works. It, I mean... And you don't know your identity because you don't know who created you. You're not submitted to the one who created you. Exactly. You now you want to you want to create identity by controlling this other party. That's what I said in the other episode that man was never given power to name a woman because when you name her, you're control you're releasing authority over her. Man was only given power to name animals, and a woman wasn't part of the animal. A woman is an equal to the man. And look at this. Before a man gets married, the first revelation every man needs before you get married is simple. We are equal. Equal. Bone of my bones. Bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. And that's when God said, for this reason, a man shall leave. So, dude, if you don't believe a woman is equal, please don't come into marriage. Don't even talk about it. Because guess what? You're trying to use her to build yourself an identity. You're trying to find somebody you can control and feel like a king. And then you take her as a trophy, not as your equal. That is very wrong. But when you love her and you submit it to that man, you come to pour love to her. L let me use this. Do you know why actually God said it is not good for the man to be alone? It wasn't that the man was lonely. No, it wasn't. It was because the man had walked with God for so long mm -hmm. and yep. God had poured everything into the man. The man was so full of love that God said, man, it's not good for you to not share it. For you to not give it away. The way I gave it to you, now I want you to go and demonstrate the same. So let me bring you someone who is just like you, so you give of yourself. That's why I say it's not good. If man is not giving of himself, it is, oh. Pastor Cyrus, that's where the men are missing it. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, the, the man, Adam, uh -huh. was full of God. Exactly. He had his identity. Thank you. In God himself. Thank you. Now, when we look at us Christians, because that's mostly who we're addressing today. Yes. The Christian says, I love God. The Bible says, submit. Who are you submitted to? Which authority do you subscribe to? Thank you. And because he is not, not all of his life is submitted to God. Maybe the arm and the leg, one leg. The rest of the body isn't. So when you come to the scripture that says, submit one to another, it is skipped. It's like it's not even there in the Bible. We stop at women, submit to your husband. Women, respect, I don't know, honor. There is quite so much that is required of the woman. That is why and they... Nothing required of the man. Nothing is required no, the, of the That's man. the Persian culture. We, we, we don't have power. You see, before that, there wasn't any problem. It was until this guy said, please make an, a decree. Mm -hmm. 
we can't go back home. You see all the dudes so afraid to go back home, they hang around bars from one place to another. They park on the road and they go back home at 2 a.m. They are afraid. They, they need another man to escort them home. Or what, oh, what do I do? Hey, you better connect up if you're going to handle that woman. You need to connect with God. Now, Pastor Cyrus, I know for a fact that there are some women who are just stubborn. Uh-huh. Very stubborn. And what's the solution? If you're going to love this woman, if you're going to commit yourself to walk down the aisle, yes. dead man walking. Thank you. Period. Thank you. It's yours. Take it. It is yours. Prove to be the knight in shining armor. Absolutely. That is exactly what Christ did. He went and shed his blood. Whatever it takes, this is my girl. I'm going with her. Not running away. He did not run away. He you know, you, you, you mentioned something about Everything is on the woman. Respect the man. Respect. Yes. Do I, I mean, all the things that go around, it's but you know, woman. You know, people want to read the Bible partially. Mm -hmm. Do you know the Bible in 1 Peter 3 talks about honoring your wife? I don't think they see that scripture. Man, you see, respect is not gender sensitive. Let me say it again. Respect is not gender sensitive. Respect is what lovers do. That is it. So if you're not a lover, if you're not respecting your wife, you're not a lover. And if she's not respecting me, the man is asking. If she's not respecting you, then she's not in love. And if that ain't happening, then you better be in love. <laughs> if she's not respecting you, I'll tell you this. When I met my woman, she looked down on me and all this and you know, but I loved her. I mean, so her disrespect never stopped my love. I was ready to love her. No, Pastor Sarah, that's where we don't have the patience for it. But, but then, you see, that's the only way. There's no other way. There's, we, we are in a place of convenience. If it's working, we run with it. If it's not working, bye. And then it's weakness for a man to say, she's not respecting me, I'm going to go find another. No, dude, no. That's weakness, that's being a wimp, that's being a coward. The real man, brave heart. That's what I'm talking about, brave heart. Pastor Sarah, some of the guys who are, who are crying disrespect are the ones who your wife asks you, how come you're home at two today? You're disrespecting me. How dare you ask me where I am coming from? No, you, 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 you see what we face now? Mm -hmm. Everything people think is submission is not submission. It's control. Absolutely. If I can control her, then she's submissive. Mm -hmm. And even when he controls you, he can't love you. No, you see, you can't no, control no. a woman and love her at the same time. Today we live in the era of phones. Yes. Now imagine Pastor Cyrus, right from the set today, yes. you get all the crew, all of us, we go home. Pastor Robbie is at home, just lounging a bit, and then all of us show up. You did not call her. You did not tell her we're coming home. Yeah. And you expect her to work magic. That and is, then you say submission. That is selfishness. No. In fact, if I carry this whole bunch, the entire production team, and say, I find her in the lounge, and she, I say, I brought a team, give them food. That's no, no. You didn't buy. Is, <laughs> the one I didn't even buy, the one you didn't buy. But I'm supposed to be in control. You see, guys love control and they think it's submission. No, control and submission are two different things. Now, when the set guys leave, they say, did you see Pastor Cyrus's wife? You know, she stood up and she started running around for us. That woman is submissive. Oh my God, I'm abusing that girl. I'm abusing that girl. But you see, this is what the boys would think. She is amazing. <laughs> No. That no. is it. That is it because your ego is elated. And if she comes in and says no, then they'll all say, what kind of woman is that? They, they will do another shoot right there in your living room. <laughs> Tell us about submission, Pastor Sarah. She just refused to submit. She just refused to submit. I mean, it makes, it, it is, it's like clipping you off slowly by slowly. And that is what needs to happen to many of us. We are... The men are, are 
they have some sort of altars on which they stand and they want to be worshipped at those altars. But we are called to serve. How, we are called to how can you serve world. when you're standing on this altar? I can't. And the one you're serving is down there. And, and by the way, the more a man, I'll say this, every time a man decries respect and says, my wife never respects me, my wife never respects me, the reality is you don't respect her. You, because let me tell you, nobody should say my wife doesn't respect me. The reality is this, no matter what she does, if you can honor her, let me tell you, by the way, people say what a man needs is respect. He doesn't need, if you give a man respect, it will be all good. No, let me tell you something. If they say, if you give a man respect, then everything will work out. He will feel he's a man. He will feel, but you see, if you're feeling manhood comes out of a woman giving you respect, then dude, you are empty because your manhood got to come out of your understanding, not out of what your wife does or does not do. Pastor Cyrus, whatever your wife does, do you see this table? Yes, ma'am. It goes through. It, you are never filled because you don't know who you are. Thank you. So I'm depending on her to make me. To feel me. That's why when I tell her, go when she doesn't go, I feel I'm nothing. I'm naked. I'm not a man. And then I will force her, beat her up. You do not know who you are. And you're not submitted to the highest authority. Who is God? Who is God? But Winnie, this is so amazing. Submission is literally you giving me the power over your life, not to abuse you, but to care for you. Literally, that's how it is with God. When you submit to God, you're saying, I give you power over my life no. because I trust you have my best interests at heart. How so many have come to you and said, my wife doesn't submit to me. She hides her money. So you speak to them, money is, it is for God, by the way. We are stewards of Absolutely. this money. So wife brings money to husband, uh -huh. all of it, Thank you. my one million there. Uh -huh. Husband takes care of himself. Husband buys every good thing. Wife has to beg for sanitary towels for her and the daughters. And then he complains. And then he complains. She's not submissive. Sure. Now, wife has got to ask you to help bring mama from the village to be treated at the nearest hospital. Yes. And you say there is no money. Tomorrow you bring your mama home. She's going to Mulago. All I asked for, for mine to be taken to the health center three in the village. In the village. There is no money. I bring all my paycheck and give it to you. That is submission. Really? Now, the day tables reverse, the day, not even tables reverse, the day I say, you know what? Is Here so is the money. I have bought sanitary towels for myself and my children. I have taken off money for my hair. The rest is here. You tell me, take your money. You're not submitted. You are, you're so angry. Why? I want to control you because I can't love you. No, no, when you got to get this, I want to control you because I can't love you. No, love is that. too high a price. Controlling you is loving you. No, the two don't work together. Control is what fearful, fearful people do. That's it. Loving Why people do don't control. It's fear. He's so scared of the power of a woman. So scared of who a woman can be. This is so dangerous. But the moment, if you think your woman is not respecting you, start loving her. I tell that to young men and they go like, why? How can, but she's not. I say, then you do it. You do it. Whatever you want to get from her, give it to her. Because somebody's going to say, what about the woman? No. It's the men that are complaining of submission. So simple. Whatever you love that woman into submission. For example, God never came and beat me into submission. 
He loved me even when I was dirty. He loved me until I said, all right, I give you power over my life. Even when you were limping. Even in my worst scenarios, he never walked away. And he never kept coming to demand for it. He never. Winnie, you're not submitted today. Winnie, you don't, I don't feel like you're submitted today. Winnie, you're not respecting me. I need you to respect me. Honestly. And that is what men, question. that is the marriage today. I need you to respect me. Hey, 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 Winnie. I want you to just take a few seconds and speak in that camera and tell the guys about respect. Let them get to know exactly what's going to happen. If you do not respect your wife as a man, you do not respect yourself. And you do not know who you are. It all comes down to identity. Who are you? Whose child are you? Because when you know, that defines me. If I walked around and, and said, I am Winnie Road, and say, oh, you're Pastor Rod's daughter. I mean, that is my identity. If yes. my identity is in Christ, yes. it doesn't matter what anyone else does. Yes. I do Christ because I hold his name, Winnie Jesus Christ. Yes. So to any man out there, to any woman out there, know who you are and whose you are, and that will liberate you. Thank you so much. Know who you are and whose you are. You had it from Winfred Zizinga. And I uh, want to say to you dudes out there, you've had it so straight. Stop demanding for respect. Every time you're demanding for respect, it's evidence you're not giving it. And the reason you're not giving it is because you're not loving. Do you know the Bible is so clear that you can that if you don't actually respect your woman, your prayers are not even answered. Do you know that? That failure to honor your woman causes your prayers not to be answered. Now, I really need to be a very special kind of idiot to not respect my woman because I love my prayers to be answered also. So I want you to remember that. If you think you need respect, you need submission, give it first. Cyrus Rod is my name. And remember, marriage is easy, ignorance is hard. And locking Moreto Bliss.